Michael Clark, former Australian skipper, believes the only condition in which Australia can lose the upcoming Ashes 2017-18 against England is if one of their bowlers gets injured. Australia have followed the formula of playing an all-rounder in their sight, irrespective of conditions and opponents for a long time. But the squad that was named last week for the Ashes starting at the Gabba in Brisbane on Thursday does not have a specialist all-rounder. The hosts have bolstered their batting order by recalling the veteran Sean Marsh, leaving the four bowlers with the entire responsibility of winning the urn for their side. Two of the three fast bowlers, Mitchell Stark and Josh Hazelwood, have shown form, but they are returning from injuries, whereas Pat Cummins and Sol Spinner in the team, Nathan Lyon, have had a strong build-up to the Ashes. Australia also have named Seymour Chad Sayers and Jackson Bird in their squad, with the former likely to feature in the second test at the Adelaide Oval, where he has had an excellent record. Pointing out Australia's reliance on four bowlers for the first two tests at least, Clark was quoted as saying by the Australian Associated Press, I feel the only way Australia loses the Ashes is if something happens to one of those three quicks or Nathan Lyon. I will have been probably thinking it's worth a risk to play an all-rounder at no. Six, even if it's only a few overs off the three quicks and lino, to try and get them through the whole series. Jackson Bird is in top form and Chad Sayers has been a wonderful bowler for a long period of time, so we've got back up, he said. But I think our three quicks already play a part in the opposition's mind knowing how skillful they are, how quick they can bowl," Clark added. <laughs> Meanwhile, Clark also backed Marsh to fire on his yet another national team return. I loved having him in the group and fought hard for him on occasions because I know how talented he is," Clark said. He can bat anywhere in the order. When he's fit and healthy, he's brilliant in the field. Sean won't let anyone down. I think he's in good nick at the moment. Happily married, got his child now as well, so I think he's primed for a big series, the cricketer-turned-commentator said. <laughs>